We accomplish our work um, with the patient as an integral part of that um, interprofessional team, if you will, um, so that we can keep them healthy, yes, but make sure that their childhood and all the activities that should go with that, um, everything from um, their hockey career to their attendance at birthday parties to them being able to stand on the stage at Christmas concert without having a low blood sugar or a high blood sugar that might affect their performance or taint their enjoyment. Um, that's, that's the great part of this team. Currently we have about 500 children uh, and families that we follow with type 1 diabetes. Uh, what's unique about the Manitoba story is that we also have close to 300 uh, children and families that we follow with type 2 diabetes. In terms of what it takes to do manage the diabetes, you need a, a strong team approach from different backgrounds, the, from the endocrinologists that work with the families, um, order the insulin to the nurses who might um, teach blood sugar monitoring, insulin injection techniques, as well as some troubleshooting and insulin adjustment as well, to our dietitians that need to uh, teach the family about carb recognition, how to account for their carbohydrate. Um, a lot of our roles really cross over a lot as well. Um, but the families need a lot of support in terms of how do they get through their day-to-day -day management with the type 1. Working with from and about each other was really important because I really needed to learn a lot about just how t type 1 and type 2 diabetes functions and the different psychosocial impact families have. Really it's important in, um, to the function of the team and the support of the families that um, the nurses understand the roles of the dietitians, and the social worker understands the role of the nurses and the messaging of the nurses and that we understand what the physicians are telling them too. So that sort of comes to the cross-training aspect of how all of the disciplines come together to support families in their everyday challenges of living with diabetes. It really is an interprofessional support network. So an individual practitioner couldn't possibly have the expertise of mental health workers, dietitians, nurses, administrators who are used to working with the population as well as pediatric subspecialists. If the jobs for the day are on the table and can be shared, if one of the team members says, well that, I, I can do that today, everyone knows that that's going to be done and going to be done well. We all have a real intimate knowledge of what it, what it takes for families to be successful um, and we sort of come at it from different approaches I think. So it really, it does take the entire team to come together to help support a family for sure. If we have any questions, um, everyone's doors are usually open if we're not working with patients. So it's really great to be able to um, work with such wonderful people. It's supporting each other as team members and learning from other team members because that ultimately best supports families. I feel very proud of our team. I feel really proud to be a part of this team. And I guess at the end of the day, it's, it's wonderful to be recognized this way, but you know, I, I think what's most important is our kids and the care that we provide and that's sort of The bigger work is in the years ahead where we support families to take control of their diabetes, to accomplish the tasks on their own. Um, and so that hopefully they are living a life that isn't centered around diabetes, that our interprofessional team tries to help them fit diabetes into the life that they want and so that all of their dreams and choices won't be, um, diabetes won't be a barrier to them fulfilling those dreams.